Alright guys, so I'm going to try to make this video as fast as I can. I know all of our time is precious. Um, I do appreciate you guys watching. I'm really excited um, to show you what I have at the end. I mean, what I'm going to show you first is kind of exciting too, but I'm really excited about what I'm going to show you at the end. Um, so I wanted to show you, I think I showed you guys this page if you watched the video um, for me working on um, some art journaling stuff. And this was originally the paper I started with, which is the Fabriano Hot Press um, paper. Um, in the end, I'm okay with the pages, but the Fabriano paper is so luxurious that I kind of wish I had just used regular watercolor paper because um, this I had done with some acrylics, you know, and everything, but then I put a coat of decoupage over it because um, my paper was kind of sticking up a bit and I didn't want it to get cat caught or me rip it. And then I did the same thing with the back page as well and it kind of makes it, it feels rubbery, which isn't bad. I'm not really, I don't really like it too much so I don't know if I'll coat too many of my pages like that. But anyway, a learning experience of course. I don't dislike it but I think it takes away from the fact that the Fabriano paper is so nice to begin with, you know, and now it's just kind of so coated it's, um, I don't know, it's not the same I guess. And again I was making just a journal that's got some different pages on it, um, that I'm going to bind, different size pages on it, excuse me, that I'm going to bind with my binding rings. Um, I haven't journaled on them. I've just been kind of making some pages um, and practicing, you know, some techniques and everything. And then this page is kind of got a green and purple feel and I put the word organic up here. Um, basically what my thought is, is I'm just making a couple of different pages to practice techniques, you know, and to get in the flow of things and um, get better at certain things and learn what I really like. But I wanted to kind of put um, either a quote or a word or something on it so that later I can take that as a prompt when I want to journal something um, and go from there. So so there you can see that page. And again, this page too has got the um, decoupage finish on it. Two coats of it on both sides. So there's that. And then this page I was just playing with. This is just a regular um, piece of Canson watercolor paper. It's like 70 or 90 pound. 90 pound. <clears throat> and it's what one of these sheets was, you know, I keep underneath and this is what's cut up into bits and this was just a little bit of the paper. And um, just kind of made a little spot and I put some of this on here to make a little pocket. Um, and the back is just this. I haven't actually finished it yet. Um, I put it away because I was working on something else. And you can see this is where I put this over here to use as a mask. And the back, and you know, I just taped it over there. I didn't, wasn't even worried about it. Don't know what I'm going to do with this page yet. Um, so there's that. Now what I'm really excited about, you guys, is some sketching I've been doing. And that's a miracle that I can even say I've been doing some sketching. And it's been successful as far as I'm concerned anyway. <laughs> That's all that really matters, right? Um, but anyway, I've been... First I signed up for a new class um, online. Um, go at your own pace type thing. It's called Mixed Media with the Girls. Um, it's by an uh, artist in Florida. Her name is Yann. And I really saw a couple of her videos with um, things that she had done and I really liked it. I was checking out her website and she's got some really cool online courses. And I went and signed up for that one. And I've also been doing the Art of Heart that Willowing has been done. Now I'm way behind because I haven't done it week. I actually just now I'm doing week one, which is forever old. But um, so that and trying to get better at my faces and comfortable with sketching. Um, so here's what I was doing. Um, I just got this little sketchbook the other day in the mail when I ordered some stuff. And. I was just watching some TV right after I ate dinner. I was watching some TV and I thought, well, let me just go ahead and see what I can do. And hopefully, and then they're all just sketches. Um, this is the first little girl face I drew. Let's see if I can. I don't want to get too close for you guys, but I kind of want you to see her. And uh, this is the first one. And honestly, I wasn't. I was like, wow, I drew that. <laughs> And I didn't trace it, okay? Because you know, normally I would be like, let me just trace something. But I drew it, 
Anyway, so I'm excited, as you can tell. That was my first little face. And then I drew this little lady. Now you can see on this one, um, she's got, can't really tell too, too well, but her nose, not a great nose. I was trying to get a realistic nose. Um, this one's just got a nose that uh, is real simple. This I picked up from YN. As she says, it's an upside down number seven, which it is. And seven is my favorite number, so I thought, oh, I could do that upside down. So there's hers. I really like the lips on this young lady. I like her. I think she looks pretty good. Okay, so there's that one. And then I wanted to get, you know, into the bigger so I could really see what was going on. And check this out. There's a figure. And I know they're hard to see you guys because they're just sketches. And I tried to sketch as light as I could, which I still don't sketch as light as I probably need to. There's my second. And you can see where I've done, you know, the line through. Um, the line halfway through for her eyes. And then half between that for the nose. And then half between that for the lips. And uh, I really like this, this one as well. So, and then this young lady, what I actually did was, um, I didn't do any of the lines, I actually, um, did dots, so there was a little itty bitty dot here, and a dot there for a nose, and a dot for a lip, so I didn't even draw the lines, and I went from that, and she as well, I think, looks, you know, pretty good, um, and my next lady, I think my next lady is my alien lady, <laughs> I decided I'm gonna call her my alien lady, <laughs> Only because I was trying to get a bigger eye, and they kind of look funny. <laughs> they don't look bad, they look funny. And then she looks really angry, huh? <laughs> and then I was trying for bangs, which they actually don't look too bad. Um, so there's that. So just, and then again, this was the same thing. I didn't draw the lines, I just did the dots, um, which I thought was pretty good. Um, and again, I'd been immersing myself in several videos of um, people who sketch. Um, Millian Day, I'm not really sure. She has an ink side and she has some great videos. She's an amazing artist. She has some videos that are how to start a face or how to draw a face. I've been watching hers over and over and over again several times. Um, and then, like I said, uh, YN, in her class, she gives you some tips and she kind of um, helps you out and everything. And then... Tam, which is from willowing.name.com, she is excellent um, artist and she does some great faces. And her classes are wonderful. Um, and then she started offering this free class, which has a tidbit of kind of different things. And the first is doing a front face front facing portrait. And look, I'm looking at my camera. It's already been eight minutes, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make this video really fast. Anyway, if you're still listening, thank you. <laughs> I still have one more picture to show you. Anyway, so there's some great um, classes uh, out there. If you guys wanna, if you're untalented with drawing, when it comes to me, I get very nervous. Um, I freak out. It's kind of like math because I just like math. <laughs> but I really am determined um, to make myself be patient and not, you know, let my inner critic get me as it often does with many things um, for many of us. And then this is probably going to be a little bit hard to see. Let's see if it's... That's probably worse, huh? <laughs> okay, let me turn my light back on. Sorry, kind of blind you guys. And then I took... This is some drawing paper. Um, I think this is 70 pound. Somewhere around there. But this is a really nice drawing paper. I think this is Canson as well. And uh, I wanted to kind of get you know her face as well as to get some hair in there and kind of practice. I'm going to practice coloring this one I do believe um, with some colored pencils um, and see how that goes. So you can kind of see her eyes and her nose and her lips and her, her chin shadows will be. Um, and I'm really happy with how she came out as well. It's really hard um, honestly well, it wasn't difficult to draw this but you know you have to get best that whole being impatient with yourself kind of thing like me and me telling myself that I can't draw and I can't do this you know and I can't do that etc and just let you know let all that go and do what you can um, and I personally am very proud of myself um, I think what I've done is okay so I can't wait to color it and ruin it <laughs> I shouldn't say that but anyway just kidding um, but I was going to say it's very hard to get um, symmetrical eyes <laughs> 
but whatever. Nobody has a symmetrical face, so that's okay, right? So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys, um, and I'm sorry I made this 10 minutes. I was trying to be quick, but I was excited, and I talked a lot. So anyway, you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you later.